Okay, we are cooking up in the studio, and if only you could smell what we are smelling. Dane's cut his face like right in the food, basically. Oh, yeah. I know you're getting excited for this. It's a protein so, breakfast right there. Gringo guacamole, uh, they are a new company. In fact, we just had a trivia question about them. We'll tell you how new they are. This is James. You made the guacamole earlier, which I'm surprised oh. there's any left because I think between the director, myself, and Dane, I mean, it's like every possible chance we get, of course. we're in front of the guacamole. That's but now good. we're going to make steak tacos. So, we got the steak all done. Yeah. We like sirloin. Awesome. We like to use sirloin. We don't use the uh, flat skirt steak stuff that sometimes cooks a little too well and it gets a little tough too. Yeah. Dane, do you need skirt to test steak. that? Make sure. I'm sure I do. Yeah, I yeah, figured you would. Take that off oh, it's your hands. hot. How is it? Is it good? Dane mm. will give us a very thought out analysis of the. Ah, uh, see, sí, muy bueno. <laughs> oh, the tough. Yeah. Very good, Daniel. Uh -huh. Tell them, uh, while, we're, while you're cutting, tell them about uh, Gringo Guacamole. Yeah, so last June we were at a family party. See, every family party, it's James, bring the guacamole. You know, we're having Asian food. James, the, bring the guacamole. The we're having Italian. Italian. James, bring the guacamole. Italian. Which goes with everything. Yeah, absolutely. So one of my cousins, she was like, why aren't you selling this? And in my mind I was thinking, because I have no idea what the food industry is like, you know. And um, I was talking with Tamara. A couple, a couple months later I was talking with Tamara. Um, over at Utah Zone, mm -hmm. and uh, she tasted some, and she was like, James, hello, you got to be at the Utah uh, Taste of Utah tent. And I was like, that's a couple of weeks away. She's like, I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't Get take that long Get your stuff together to and be there. This I have no idea seconds. how young of a company you were when I met him. So I met him down at the State Fair. They had this big, huge tent full of all of Utah's own, meaning that everything is local. So they're local hand products. They're local guacamole. They're local meat. Whatever it is, uh, everything is local. And I met James and fell in love with his guacamole. <laughs> I mean, I, I fell in love with it. It's so good. I think Dane is too, right? See. You okay over there? See, this is why Dane just comes in these segments, so he can eat and he doesn't have did to you want, Did you want a chip? Tortillas. Oh. Let's see some tortillas. See, you here. tortillas. Yeah, so after that, you know, just like you, I mean, a lot of the, the big Salt Lake foodies, like Salt Lake City Foodie and Salt Lake City Lunches, um, at Chocolate, Ryan Kendrick, they all just love this stuff. And so, we just kind of, a lot of people following us and um, and now you're, now you're taco parties. Our fan, we give our fans taco parties. And so you're, you're mass producing just like this. this now. Hey, and that's a cool thing I want you to talk about. The taco parties, you go out there and you give that family or that the group of friends. Yeah, about ten, ten of their friends. Yeah, because we like to have fun. Uh, mm -hmm. Avocado, you know, guacamole is about having fun. Mm -hmm. We show up. Are you gonna need some of that on there? Yeah. Why don't you scoop up to you? Why don't I? Yeah. You okay. got. You I've got, got. Yeah. I've got a thing here. Here we go. So we'll just make a couple up right here. Li you're liking okay. Dane. Well, I'll make. I'll make some for everybody because I'm good you at. You know, those. maybe watch uh, Three Amigos or Nacho Libre <laughs> or something. You know. <laughs> Have some fun. Like the way you think. Now the secret to these steak tacos are. It, it is the uh, guacamole, guacamole because it is so well, good. Well, and as we just learned, it's good with Italian food or uh, Asian, Asian food, food. Or a couple different things. I mean, it's good Indian for food. A lot of it's good for after school snacks. It's good for breakfast. It's good for dinner. And it's good for lunch. It goes with everything, lunch. right? Yeah, exactly. So, Gringo Guacamole, you uh, they do have a website. You can go stuff. to gringoguacamole.com. You can also follow them on Facebook. You could use it as a lotion if you wanted to. And That's a disgusting, Dane. You could wash it's your hair. It's been done. <laughs> you People bathe in it. See, I People was going to say, Jen, you could okay, wash your hair in this. Now you guys are going too far. <laughs> hey, it's can not good. Can you imagine good. if I put guacamole in this air? Can you imagine? I think you should. In fact, here. Let's <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Whatever. <laughs> All right. But taste it. You gotta eat it. Okay. Go, Jan. Go. 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 Mm, call me crazy. We better get, hey, Dan, we better you get a, Are you going to talk, actually, or are you going to taste with me? Okay. As Jan puts this no, you fresh about guacamole, guacamole and steak up to her lips and bites through it, starts to chew. This is how breakfast should be. Shouldn't yeah. Every day. Every day. With these hot lights mm. in the cameras. That's the way we I like guacamole. it every single day. It's so divine. Isn't that nice? Oh. You know, and the thing is... It, everybody thinks that they have a special recipe for stuff like guacamole, but it does take a little bit more than just somebody. Oh, okay. you need some more on there? Any more? Hey, I make this but all the time, this, and you've got and your I love special it every time. your special recipe that we went over last hour. We didn't give away all the secrets, but there are a few simple steps that um, make all the difference in the world, and you're doing it right. Chef's eating as well. Make sure you check them out. So they're a brand new company. They're figuring out where. Um, they're in the process of finding all the places that will be selling mm -hmm. their guacamole. Mm -hmm. um, so if you do want to get that information, go online, gringoguacamole.com, or you can uh, find them on Facebook, like we said. 
Thank you so much for coming in. So no here's problem. my Thank question. You. Yeah. Can we have Hawaiian shirt Friday slash guac gringo guacamole every single Friday? I'll come up. I am so impressed. Absolutely. Yeah. I like the way you think now too. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I just I love your Hawaiian shirt and you know the gringo guacamole. It goes with everything. Be, Italian, it does. Same, Mexican. Exactly. Just like just Chinese. like guacamole does. Goes guacamole with goes with everything. Believe it or not. All right, James, I got to thank you for coming in. All right, I have two men eating next thank to you. me. Obviously, here, they're not going to do here. any more Jane, talking. Well, if somebody's right. got to do the talking, somebody actually has Let's to work. Let's just close this out so we can finish it. Don't worry. Do We're going to have your trivia question mm -hmm. coming up right after this. We'll have the answer and, to your um, trivia question. Thank you. That's what yeah. I meant. Okay. You knew what I meant. Okay, we're going. We'll be right back. Yeah, Jen, grab your.